Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. Welcome back to Wild Reads, my name is Dave. Today is the September edition of six books to look out for in the month of September. There are some, let me just say this right up front, there are some stonkingly good books coming out in September, some real heavyweight literary fiction authors. I make no apologies for the fact that on this list there will be no thrillers, there will be no outright straight up commercial fiction. These are all from literary fiction heavyweight authors who all in the build-up to the Christmas season are releasing new books next month, or one of them is out right at the end of this month. Um, September and October are really shaping up to be fantastic months in the world of publishing. There are some absolutely fantastic books coming out. I can't wait to get my sticky little hands on them. Let's get straight into the book, shall we? First up, this month is a new book from an author and she this author is almost quite unique in the fact that she she's a literary fiction author but her sales really push her into that commercial league and this is Kate Axenson. Kate is back with a brand new book called Transcription. This is out on September the 6th and is published by Doubleday. Let's find out a little bit more about it. The magnificent new novel by the best-selling, award-winning Kate Atkinson. Think of it as an adventure, Perry had said right at the beginning of all this, and it had seemed like one. A bit of a lark, she had thought, a girl's own adventure. In 1940, 18-year-old Julia Armstrong is reluctantly recruited into the world of espionage. Sent to an obscure department of MI5, tasked with mon monitoring the comings and goings of British fascist sympathisers. She discovers the work to be by turns both tedious and terrifying. But after the war has ended, she presumes the events of those years have been relegated to the past forever. Ten years later, now a producer at the BBC, Julia is unexpectedly confronted by figures from her past. A different war is being fought now, on a different battleground but Juliet finds herself once more under threat. A bill of reckoning is due and she finally begins to realise that there is no action without consequence. Transcription is a work of rare depth and texture, a modern novel of extraordinary power, wit and empathy. It is a triumphant work of fiction from one of this country's most exceptional writers. That looks absolutely brilliant. That is Transcription by Kate Atkinson. It is out, as I said, on the 6th of September and is published by Doubleday. The next book I've got for you is one by Sally Rooney. This one has been long listed for the Man Booker Prize and I think the release date for this has been brought forward a couple of weeks because of that Man Booker long listing. This is Sally Rooney's new book, Normal People. It looks brilliant. I haven't read Conversations with Friends yet. It is on my immediate to read TBR shelf, but there are a, a, a couple of dozen books on that shelf, so I will get to it before the end of the year. But this one looks really good as well. So Connell and Marianne grew up in the same small town in rural Ireland. The similarities end there. They are from very different worlds. When they both earn places at Trinity College in Dublin, a connection that has grown between them lasts long into the following years. This is an exquisite love story about how a person can change another person's life. A simple yet profound realisation that unfolds beautifully over the course of the novel. It tells us how difficult it is to talk about how we feel and it tells us blazingly about cycles of domination, legitimacy and privilege. Alternating menace with overwhelming tenderness, Sally Rooney's second novel breathes fiction with new life. Um, so this is Normal People by Sally Rooney. This is out on August the 30th and is published by Faber and Faber. The next book is, uh, is by an author that I have read before. This is by Patrick DeWitt and it's called French Exit. I last read Patrick DeWitt when he was long listed, I think in around 2013, for The Sisters Brothers. Uh, and I think this is his first novel that he's brought out since that book a long listing. Uh, so this is French Exit. It's published on the 20th of September by Bloomsbury. And this is described as a comedy a, a comedy stroke tragedy of manners. 
the new novel from the Man Booker shortlisted author of The Sisters Brothers. Frances Price, tart widow, possessive mother, and upper east side force of nature, is in dire straits. Beset by scandal, her adult son Malcolm is no help, mired in the permanent state of arrested development. And then there's their cat, who Frances believes houses the spirit of her late husband. An infamously immoral lawyer whose gruesome tabloid death rendered them social outcasts. To put their troubles behind them, the trio cut their losses and head for the exit. Their beloved Paris becomes the backdrop for a giddy drive to self-destruction. Helped along by a cast of singularly curious characters, a bashful private investigator, an aimless psychic, and Mademoiselle Renard, friendly American expat and aggressive house guest. Brimming with pathos, warmth and wit, French Exit is a one-of-a-kind tragedy of manners, a riotous stand-up of high society, and a moving story of mothers and sons. That description sounds really, really good. So that's French Exit by Patrick DeWitt, published by Bloomsbury, and out on the 20th of September. OK, we're going to stick with the French theme for the time being, because next up we have the new book from Sebastian Folks. This is called Paris Echo. It is out on the 6th of September and will be published by Hutchinson. Here is Paris, as you have never seen it before, a city in which every building seems to hold the echo of an unacknowledged past. American postdoctoral researcher Hannah and runaway Moroccan teenager Tarek have little in common, yet both are susceptible to the daylight ghosts of Paris. Hannah listens to the extraordinary witness of women who were present under the German occupation in her desire to understand their lives and through them her own. She finds a city bursting with clues and connections. Out in the migrant suburbs, Tarek is searching for a mother he barely knew. For him, in his innocence, each boulevard, metro station and street corner is a source of surprise. In this urgent and deeply moving novel, Folks deals with the questions of empire, grievance and identity, with great originality and a dark humour. Paris Echo asks how much we really need to know if we are to live a valuable life. So that is Paris Echo by Sebastian Folks, published by Hutchinson and out on September the 6th. OK, next up we have the new novel from Sarah Moss. This is called Ghost Wall. It is out on the 20th of September and will be published by Granta. Teenage Sylvie is living in a remote Northumberland camp as an exercise in experimental archaeology. Her father is an abusive man, obsessed with recreating the discomfort, brutality and harshness of Iron Age life. Behind and ahead of Sylvie's narrative is the story of a bog girl, a sacrifice, a woman killed by those closest to her. And as the hot summer builds to a terrifying climax, Sylvie and the bog girl are in ever more terrifying proximity. That sounds really good as well. And Maggie O'Farrell said about this book, I love this book. Ghost Wall requires you to put your life on hold while you finish it. If that's good enough for Maggie O'Farrell, it's good enough for me. So that's Ghost Wall by... Uh, published by Granta, by Sarah Moss, and out on, what did I say it was? The 20th. I think it's out on the 20th. Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, it's out on the 20th. For the last book, we have a very, very popular author now. This is William Boyd. William Boyd has got a brand new book coming out, also on September the 20th. This is going to be published by Viking. Love is Blind is William Boyd's sweeping, heart-stopping new novel. Set at the end of the 19th century, it follows the fortunes of Brodie Moncur, a young Scottish musician about to embark on the story of his life. When Brodie is offered a job in Paris, see we're sticking with the French theme here. When Brodie is offered a job in Paris, he seizes the chance to flee Edinburgh, his tyrannical clergyman father, and begin a wildly different new chapter in his life. In Paris, a fateful encounter with a famous pianist irrevocably changes his future and sparks an obsessive love affair with a beautiful Russian soprano, Lika Blom. Moving from Paris to St. Petersburg to Edinburgh and back again, Brodie's love for Lika and its dangerous consequences pursue him around Europe and beyond. During an era of overwhelming change as the 19th century becomes the 20th, Love is Blind is a tale of dizzying 
passion and brutal revenge, of artistic endeavour and the illusions it creates, of all the possibilities that life can offer and how cruelly they can be snatched away. At once an intimate portrait of one man's life and an expansive exploration of the beginning of the 20th century, Love is Blind is the masterly new novel from one of Britain's best love storytellers. So that's William Boyd, Love is Blind, that's out on September the 20th and published by Viking. That's it, that is all I have for you this month. There are some fantastic books on that list. Um, I'll be certainly buying a good few of those, if not all of them. This is why my, my book haul this month had to be a little bit smaller because over the next couple of months there are some fantastic books coming out. Okay, I'll be back on Wednesday with a new video. Whatever you're doing this week, enjoy your books and I will see you back here on Wednesday for another booktube video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.